Uh, I'm going to call, so I'm switching to English, and I'm going to call now to the stage Philippe Collin, who is the head of innovation fostering at the OP3FD. Where is Philippe? I can't see a thing. There he is. Hello. Hi, Philip. Thank you for being with us. And um, let's get straight to it. Uh, this title of innovation fostering, what exactly that does that mean? What do you do? I'm still wondering what it means exactly. Um, but without um, uh, being uh, too uh, facetious about it, basically what you're trying to do at OP3FT is create the conditions for the ecosystem to develop. Uh, in other words, we want you uh, to create site, publish content. We want you entrepreneurs to start companies using the fragrance technology. We want you to uh, make billions of dollars. And the way we do that is we foster innovation uh, within the ecosystem. Amory was telling earlier, uh, there's no need for a new technology if it doesn't create new uh, users. Uh, we help, and that's what we do day in, day out. We help um, the anyone in the ecosystem um, <coughs> create new, um, new ways to innovate, and that's what innovation fostering is. Thanks, Philip. So now you've explained what you do, and basically what you do is show and explain the Frogan's technology to everyone that you meet. Perhaps you can do that for us now and Absolutely. tell us a bit more about it. <laughs> I can try that. Um, the, uh, the challenge we have uh, at innovation fostering is what what can we show, what can we tell you guys uh, about a technology that is about publishing content when our um, reason of being is not to publish content? We're not content publishers, you are. So I'm going to try uh, quickly to do, first of all, a reminder of what Frogan sites are, and then I'll give you uh, a short demo based on prototypes uh, that uh, we develop or we develop with partners. Uh, they will show you um, uh, characteristics, benefits of the Frogan sites. Maybe we can uh, start with the first slide. Slide, please. Let's hope we don't have another technical problem. It doesn't have video here, so. All right, so um, the Frogan's technology um, has uh, it's basically a set of libraries and uh, uh, policies and a piece of software that allows anyone in the ecosystem to create uh, content and to make it visible to all. Uh, remember, the, the mission is making sure that anyone can publish content easily and rapidly, and that content must be visible to all. So the Frogan sites is what you publish when you um, use the Frogan technology. They have a few uh, special features. The first one, if you can see, they're fast to load. Um, I take the subway in Paris, I travel around the world, and I have very uneven bandwidth conditions, such, you know, I, am, I assume you do too. Um, I heard somewhere that the um, average web page is now almost like a meg uh, heavy. Uh, we're trying to make it things light, we're trying to make things Easy. We're trying to make things uh, uh, easy to manipulate, and the result is the Frogan sites are easy to load. Frogan's player uh, quickly loads the pages because the pages are uh, small. Right? So um, it doesn't mean that we try to make the pages small. We impose the pages to be small. So it's it's a little it's a discipline that guarantees the user experience on the end on the end user side. The second um, characteristic of Frogan site is they're portable. And uh, by portable, I mean that a given site will be um, available on any connected device. We're talking about <coughs> cell phones, we're talking about tablets, we're talking about desktop, laptops. I see everybody here has um, a collection of uh, uh, connected devices. Well, we, we make sure that everybody is able to uh, load those sites with a specific version of Frogan's Player. Frogan's Player, as I remind, is the, uh, the piece of software that uh, allows you to navigate Frogan sites. So portable, meaning that we make sure that it's available everywhere. So everywhere, you need to be connected, you need to have a screen of a you know, given size, but um, we really aim at 
many, many, many versions of uh, operating systems, even old ones sometimes, because we understand that not everybody has the latest, um, used whatever favorite brand of yours, the latest phone or the latest computer or even the latest version of a given operating system. So we want to make sure that when that site is available to all, it means it's really available to the largest number of people possible. I'm tempted to do my usual joke about, no, I won't, Go about ahead. the iPhone, but I won't. Um, please continue. Right. Uh, the third thing is easy to develop. Remember when I said making sure everyone can rapidly and easily publish content? We really think that publishing content has to be a very simple task, like, almost like making a phone call. Everybody makes phone calls, everybody who has access to a phone. We want to make sure everybody can uh, publish content. So we come up with a, uh, a language uh, that's very easy to use. It's based on XML grammar. Um, we, every effort, we give every effort to make it even easier to use to develop sites. But basically, uh, it doesn't take a, uh, to be a rocket scientist to develop a, a frogging site. And you don't have to even think about, oh, but the, will the user use that kind of browser or that kind of other piece of software? It's one piece of code. That piece of code will work on every device. Number four, uh, for good size. And then I have to demonstrate all those things, of course, <laughs> during the demos. It's going to be a challenge. But um, creative. Um, when we think sites, we think, uh, in a lot of cases, it's a lot of text. Uh, Frogans has Frogans sites have distinctive, distinctive features where you can mix uh, images, um, uh, shapes, and forms. Of course, text, uh, and, and you can assemble them in a way that creates a new, uh, a different type of experience, a different type of user experience. And when we show prototypes, and you'll see more later, uh, when you show prototypes to potential uh, partners, they say, "Oh yeah, but it." it, it basically sparkles the uh, imagination. So they create, oh, yeah, I could uh, do a, a sight in the shape of a, of a tire or a shape in the shape, uh, shape of a, a building or whatever. So it's, it's not the regular rectangular shape. It has the sense of features that uh, I will show you examples of later. Oh, and uh, user-friendly. That creative was about the look and feel. And of course, the, cr the user-friendliness is that um, you don't need to be trained to use Frogans Player. You don't need to be trained to navigate site. They're very easy to use on, on mobile, and we'll show that later. Uh, all you need to do is one finger, right finger, left hand finger, whatever, to navigate site and click and move from one slide to the other. So it's, it's a really uh, user-friendly, uh, the French is intuitive way to um, navigate content on the internet. Um, there are two more. Secure. Um, when I talk to uh, end users, and I, I'll be very vague when I say that, in general, uh, there's always this feeling of um, or fear sometimes that well, if I call up the site and um, you know the bank sent me a link and I type my info and then sent me to a, a hacker site or something. We understand that there's a feeling of when the technology is complex, then there's opportunities to be not safe for the end user. So we make every effort to, to uh, publish, uh, sorry, to help publish sites that are very safe, very secure for the end user. For example, um, there's no script that runs on Frogans Player. There's no risk of a little script uh, collecting data from your, your computer or your phone and sending that to a third party. They, we guarantee that your personal data will not be shared with someone else without your knowledge. We uh, make sure that the version of Organs Player is, uh, which we call it under control. It's an open standard, so it's uh, published by us, uh, with your input, of course, but it's published by us, so we guarantee the integrity of the code. So there's a number of features, including in the addresses and how to resolve them, that make uh, the Organs experience very safe for the end user. And last but not least, international. Um, we travel around the world to uh, present the fragrance technology. And something that it's sometimes a little difficult to, for our uh, partners to understand is, although the technology was invented in France, 
um, it gives equal uh, importance to languages and um, linguistic categories that are not French and that are not the Latin uh, alphabet. <coughs> we make sure that a Frogon site can be uh, registered, the address can be registered in Chinese, for example. Traditional Chinese, uh, simplified Chinese. We make sure that you have the right fonts uh, uh, in the player so you can uh, display text in uh, Greek, Cyrillic, uh, Korean, what have you. And that is, first of all, it's complex on our side, but the goal of this is to make things very easy on your side. And to you, I don't mean necessarily the people in the room here, but also everybody who's uh, connecting, who's uh, watching this from very far. Um, we'll have later tonight uh, presentations about when we, um, uh, missions we had in, in Russia, in China, or in other places where finally uh, they're presented with a way to publish content that is not based on Latin characters. And that's, um, I think, pretty new. Thanks. So it is an exciting time for the Frogans project. Uh, and we will be talking uh, this evening about a couple of things that we've got going on at the moment, uh, including priority uh, registration periods for the addresses that uh, will allow people to get to the sites that you've just described for us in some uh, uh, quite some detail. But uh, before we do that, obviously, having listened to you and watched you describe these features, the, the, the thing we really want to see is actually what does it look like? What do these sites actually look like when you see them in the, in the flesh? So could you do that for us? Could you uh, show us that? We'll try that. We'll take a few minutes and uh, we'll call uh, Valian to come to on, on, oh, he's over here. Wonderful. Um, to, uh, to demonstrate those things on, as I said before, a couple of examples. Uh, again, those are, are not examples. Our, we're not um, content publishers, but we'll want to, to illustrate the possibilities of the fragrance technology through those examples. So let's see if we can um, show the screens. In a second. So perhaps we, sh we can explain that what we're doing now is actually shooting live uh, on a couple of uh, different types of smartphones. So what we're doing is very much what the user experience will be. Right. Um, which the, the, as one of the features we uh, talked about earlier was the portability. And we're going to show on, on, on the same on, this, on screen here um, computers and phones that are on the side here. I don't know if the camera uh, can see that. Uh, we'll try to show you um, a view. Can we have the, the split screen or? <coughs> okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, four. All right. So, for example, here we have uh, a Linux machine. Here we have a Windows machine. Over there, there's a Macintosh. And this is a view of um, this red device there that films uh, two cell phones. So I hope everybody can, can see. We'll see if we can have more, more light maybe later. So I'm going to show um, that those sites can be called on all those different devices. Uh, we'll try to make it uh, entertaining at the same time. First one. All right, excellent. So here's an iPhone. Um, we, we talked about the fragrance technology, and the key piece of the fragrance technology is the fragrance player. Fragrance player is an app. You can see it up here, um, an app that you download from the, uh, the App Store, in this case. And when you launch Fragrance Player, there we go. Perfect. Okay. Um, we don't see the menu. It's up now. Okay, perfect. Brave man attempting a, a live demo. <laughs> um, so we're going to, I'm going to call uh, one example this, this uh, site called Food Days. Imagine you. Uh, are at a conference. Oh, you are at a conference, great. Uh, so now imagine you want to access the uh, program of the conference, we, who speaks where and uh, when. Um, here is an example. You type 
this uh, example of the comp uh, sorry the site name is Food Days Star, and the conference is in Singapore. So we have a full address called Food Days Star Singapore, and from there. I'll be able to access all the information I need when I need it. Remember, the people who organize conference, conferences like this, they don't necessarily know uh, what their um, attendees have in terms of equipment. They want to make sure the content is available to all, but it's kind of a nightmare to make sure that it works the same way on iPhones and uh, iPads and Android phones of different sizes. Well, with Frogant, uh, all you have to do is develop one site. Here is the program, the official program of the Food Days Conference. And for example, I can navigate with one finger, see the finger here. Uh, and for example, I can go to day one, so what's going on on day one. So you see the, f oh, lovely. Better, okay, day one. So uh, here I will uh, access the program of day one. And sorry if it's not super, super clear. Uh, but basically in this frame here, uh, you have a, a condensed format of all the information you need to know about what's happening at that, that moment uh, on day one. And again, with your finger, you can navigate uh, here between the different parts of the day. And for example, choose one session here and click. Uh, or actually, you can move to the next um, hour. What's going on? OK, it calls up a new page, a new slide. And on that slide, you have uh, the next hour. So let's go back a second, choose one session in that conference, and uh, see what's going on. So you see a, a mixture here of text, um, of images, colors. It's, a, it's very fun to develop, and it's uh, very easy to test as well. Uh, conference number one. Right. There we go. <coughs> With one finger. <laughs> okay. Thank you. <coughs> this part here is called the pad, and the pad is how you navigate. It's what you use to navigate for sites on mobile devices. Here you go. That's the conference we chose. Uh, text, and again here you have links, and those links you can navigate them through uh, with the, this, uh, this pad here. So if you click on the pad, we can access the name of the person presenting the conference, presenting the, that session, and when we do that, we can see the actual picture of that person. All right, so that's a site, it's very simple, uh, it can be done in a couple of hours, and again, it, it Make, sh make sure that it gives the guarantee to uh, the, the publisher, in this case the conference organizer, that the content will be available in exactly the same format down to the pixel to all the attendees um, of the, uh, the conference. So we can just highlight the, the simplicity aspect of the, uh, for the developer community. Uh, as you've mentioned, uh, taking away the headache of having to think about different devices, different systems, different ways of showing information, different cultures even. Uh, that's one of the uh, uh, assets of the Frogan technology, is that what we're seeing here, um, a developer would only have to do it once, and it would work the same way, whatever. That's exactly that. I developed my site, in what we call FSDL, the Fragrant Slight de Development Language. That is available, uh, I mean, it's the language you develop the sites in, and then because you, you describe the play, the, oh, sorry, all the, the slides with that language, we make sure that they're available on every device. You don't need to think about a mobile version, you don't think to, need to think about a, um, an app that you would have to post on the app stores. Uh, it's available for all uh, all devices. So is there a way, Philippe, for you to show us the same site, for example, on a different platform, uh, just to see exactly that, what we've just described? Sure, we can, um, maybe on the same page, we can have the, uh, the Android phone, maybe? And we actually can put them next to each other, just to show. 
All right, so again, we launched Frogans Player on Android, and um, the site uh, address is exactly the same. You know, we had Food Days Star Singapore, and here we have Food Days Star Singapore, so you don't need to have a different addressing system. It works um, both ways. And the beauty here, of course, is that the site not only looks the same, is also navigated exactly the same way. So there's no special feature that is on one uh, OS and not on the other. So let's try to go to directly to speakers, see if we have the same slide. Speakers, please. Here we go. And we'll pick that, well actually it's the first one, Michelle. All right, perfect. So what you see here, for example, with that um, picture is that you don't have to think about different format for the picture itself. Um, it's uh, shown within Fragrance Player exactly the same way, whatever the OS. I'm going to call uh, another segment now for a uh, change a little bit uh, and just show you more uh, graphics capacities with uh, family. Family dough on either platforms, please. So here, imagine I run a, um, like a social uh, network for families, and I call it family, and the address is family star, asterisk. Okay. So uh, Doe, for example, I have, um, uh, I'm sorry for the quality of the picture here, but, um, I wanted to show you, for example, the, the, uh, the person, uh, Laura, here, just to give you a sense that the, the, the shape of this slide can be different. <coughs> All right. So here, again, we uh, earlier we saw the, uh, a slide with the shape of a... Uh, that was pretty much rectangular with the food day site. Here we have a picture uh, surrounded by uh, a menu that is actually a, a portion of a circle. Um, and again, the limit is your imagination. It's the imag imagination of the designer. So maybe we can see uh, the promise was uh, sites would be portable. We see the same thing on computers, on a desktop. Yeah, that, uh, if we can do that and just look at one computer, uh, because that's all we're going to have time for, but obviously um, people in the room are able to come and see you during the break and uh, Absolutely. perhaps have a demo, and the demos, I mean, there's also, as we mentioned earlier, on videos and uh, other items online that ha can help people see for themselves how dynamic and uh, powerful Frogan sites are. Absolutely. We have, first of all, during the networking session here, we'll be able to show you more um, of those um, uh, sites on the computers that are right here and the phones that are right here. And uh, online, we'll also post it. Uh, examples, uh, either videos or tutorials on how to use and create web uh, program sites. So, in a second, maybe. Which one do we have? Hmm. On the large screen, maybe. I'll take this uh, opportunity to remind you that um, currently uh, we have Fragrance Player on Android, iPhone for uh, as far as mobile. Uh, Windows Phone is coming up soon, and we'll have also uh, desktop-wise. We'll have uh, we have sorry um, uh, Linux, uh, Macintosh, and Windows. So here's an example on Windows. We'll pick one of those, maybe the uh, well, again, the food days, just to uh, finish the, uh, uh, the example here, food days, uh, Singapore. And I'll show you one more feature on this site and then maybe we can move on with the program. So um, you see the same, the same site. We have a special feature here with a now function, top left. 
And what now does, it, it opens a new, a new site. So for example, if you want to know exactly what's going on at this very moment uh, at the conference, you don't need to call uh, Food Days uh, Star Singapore, you can do Food Days Star Now. You see the address here is on the menu. Uh, that you can call up any time, and you can um, move around at the convention center uh, with that uh, slide uh, on your phone without having to navigate any other things. Uh, so we'll show you more, um, more, more sites and more demos uh, during the networking session uh, around 7 p.m. Thanks very much, Philippe. That's uh, uh, great to be able to actually uh, touch the technology and feel, get a feel for it uh, through these live demos. Um, if you've got time, perhaps I can just ask if there are any questions in the room and once again remind everyone, as Jean Manuel did earlier on, that uh, you can also interact with us through Twitter uh, using the hashtag Frogans or uh, you can obviously um, get the uh, FTC4 streamed uh, live on the internet so you can uh, uh, understand what's going on and uh, we welcome your feedback, your questions. So perhaps I can call uh, for any questions in the room uh, to Philippe. Perhaps uh, we have time for one or two questions before moving on to the next part of our uh, program this this evening. I see a hand raised here. Je la pose en français puis on se débrouille. I will do it in French. Um, maybe you were going to explain this afterwards, but um, is there some sort of an engine for apps or do you have to know the actual address? Is there a search engine uh, available so that people can find Frogan sites they're interested in? All right. So this is a good uh, opportunity for me to remind everybody that the technology is not out yet. In other words, those are prototypes. When uh, sites are actually available um, later this year or early next year, there will be uh, a number of services uh, equivalent to what you can find uh, on the web or on other uh, platforms that will, for example, index uh, Frogan sites the same way and will allow you to find them without knowing the address in, in, in advance. So um, uh, that is a service that uh, will be rendered by members of the ecosystem. We're talking right now to a number of companies that have ideas on how to make the, the Frogan ecosystem or the Frogan part of the internet ecosystem uh, richer, uh, and of course, because the technology is not out yet, uh, it's uh, still in progress. Thank you, and just to remind everyone, because uh, I see there are more questions, uh, feel free and comfortable to ask them in French if you're not comfortable speaking in English. And um, we won't translate the answers in French because you you are uh, able to uh, benefit from the uh, live translation that's uh, been organized for this conference. So. So please, next question. Thank you. Uh, thank you. I, I was uh, just wondering why these uh, frogan sites uh, seems seem to run so slowly, uh, given they are supposed to be small and quick. Um, we we have uh, a little technical difficulty right now uh, on this uh, demo uh, platform, <laughs> and I apologize for that. Uh, yes, because they're small, they're supposed to be uh, to to load faster. Um, and I, my promise to you is they will. <laughs> uh, but at this point, the, uh, on this platform, we have uh, a little delay in, uh, on our server, so it's a little slower. Sorry. Thank you. Any other questions? Okay. Thank you very much, Philippe. And uh, I'll also thank Aurélien Pro, uh, project manager, who's uh, helped us out and allowed us to show you these demos this evening. Thank you very much. Round of applause for both of them, please.